Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks, and in this video I've got five amazing macro photography ideas that are easy for you guys to try out at home. I'm going to be linking in the top right hand corner and down in the description to full tutorials on how to do everything that you're about to see. So if you see something that you want to try out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the link to go and see the full tutorial. Now without any further ado, let's get started with number five. first macro photography idea that I've got for you today is mixing in paint with some milk and oil. This creates these strange bubbles of colour on the white background of the milk and they all mix together to create these abstract videos and still images. Adding some oil to some milk creates a barrier into which you can add some coloured paint. They create these strange little bubbles that float between the milk and the oil and then when you add a drop of washing up liquid it will start to break down those barriers and all of the colours will mix together. You can't predict how this is going to happen so it is a little bit of trial and error and every single time you try it is a different result. It's a very messy subject but I think it's certainly one worth trying on a spare weekend as long as you've got enough paper towels to clean up with. Our next subject idea is quite literally playing with fire. Definitely make sure that you've got an adult nearby if you're going to be trying this one, um, but lighting up candles and getting close to the wick and the flame can create some really interesting still images and video as well. If you blow out your candle at just the right time, use a high powered flash, you can capture all sorts of interesting effects as the wick burns down. Number three is not strictly macro photography at all because we're not using a macro lens or any type of lens. This is lensless reflectography and refractography. It's still a, an interesting type of experimental photography where we can use glass objects to reflect and refract light back into our camera sensor. We can create still images of crazy colors and patterns created by the makeup of the glass objects and we can create uh, moving images as we move our object around and change how the light is interacting with our sensor. How about creating some fire and explosion effects in the background of your toy, model and Lego photography scenes? This is a really safe way to use practical effects to create fire and explosions in the background of your shots. It's simply done by using some tin foil and some coloured lighting to create the effect of some out of focus fire or explosions in the background of your characters. This can really make your scenes come alive and create those action scenes without the need for pyrotechnics or any real fire that might put your models at risk. My number one macro photography idea for 2022 is to create some melting candy time-lapse videos. Now this is a very messy and time-consuming endeavour, so definitely set aside a weekend to play around with lots of water and candy. Placing your candy into small vessels of water will start to melt away the sugared coatings on the outside of your sweet treats. You'll see it moving away from your sweet as it spreads out into less dense areas of water and you'll see it cascading off your sweets like a waterfall of sugar. I definitely recommend using a macro lens to try this one out and have a few different types of candy on hand because they all do different things when they interact with the water and you can look at it from lots of different angles nice and close up. Remember that full tutorials for everything that you've just seen are linked down in the description if you want to check it out and try it yourself. These are only five of our favourite shoots from the past 12 months, so make sure to hit the subscribe button to see lots more macro photography ideas and inspiration. I'll link on the screen now to last year's top five and the year before as well. For now, that is all that I've got time for. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.